Hello, lovelies. <laughs> I'm starting a little bit earlier because I want to test my microphone. Could you please leave me a comment and telling me if you can hear me clearly? Just let me know if you can hear me, please. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Sing yourself well. Okay. All right, fabulous. All right, so let me do this. A little bit of this. Sorry, it looks like a giant penis, but it's just a microphone. <laughs> so good morning, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's been, I think it was last year, last time I did a live streaming. Uh, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. I'm going to go through all your messages soon because it's a little bit of a structure for this video. I shall remove the glasses, but I'm not going to see much. Um, first of all, I hope the quality of the video is not too bad. Unfortunately, I'm filming from my built-in camera and um, I ordered a brand new camera, more professional, and it hasn't arrived yet. So... It's okay for this one. Who knows? Am I doing more live video in the future with better quality? So, um, first of all, um, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay, but it's being, um, I want to be, you know me a little bit. I'm very um, direct and honest. And the last few weeks has been a little bit tough for me for many, many reasons. Uh, one, I had a bit of a medical issue. I don't want to panic. I'm not panicking, but um, let's say that after a mammogram and an ultrasound and see a couple of doctors, I'm waiting now an appointment for the hospital to get an MRI. And I don't think it's serious. If it is, it's going to be fixable. So that did my head for quite a few weeks because I usually not sick. And when I am, I am very, very seriously. But, you know, it's part of life. So I don't want you to worry. It's nothing to worry about. But I just want to say that plays a bit of a game in my head um, lately. So my creativity was done. But... I'm okay. All right. I also being very tired because I think this is stay somewhere in your mind. And it was just like, oh gosh, can I keep going what I do, etc. So I, I saw your messages and um, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm laughing because I got a list of things to do <laughs> to tell you. And I'm so not structured. I'm just talking like you in a room with me. So uh, let's talk about YouTube. So I started YouTube in February 2020. So it's been over two years and a half-ish. And I've been posting minimum three long videos per week plus the shorts. So sometimes I'm posting 10 videos per week. And um, unless you are on YouTube, you don't know, but behind one 10 minutes videos is probably easily 15, 20 hours of work. And I can't keep up. I'm, I'm just getting really tired. I'm getting very overwhelmed. I feel like I'm rushing. I feel like I'm not doing top quality videos like I wanted to. So no, ladies, um, I am not quitting YouTube, even if I think about it almost every week lately. It's just because I need to slow down and to take care of my health and myself a little bit better. And to do so, I need to slow down on my workload, which is absolutely incredible. Um, yes, talk about editing. Um, I had a video editor for a few months and I have to let her go because she couldn't keep up with the rhythm and I was not very happy with the quality of editing. So cut the story short, I'm going to probably post a long video. When I say long, is 10, 11 minutes per week and maybe something a bit shorter, but I'm going to try to do one to two videos per week. And um, yes, so I'm not leaving, I can't, <laughs> but 
I invested lately in a very good um, filming equipment. I'm also taking a filming making course because I feel like I can really elevate my game and offer you top quality videos. And um, same for lightning, sound. Anyway, you don't want to know the details of that because it's quite technical. But, um, and you know what, as well, I'm not just behind uh, YouTube or behind a camera. I'm also running my other businesses and I got my website clients, my amazing online courses, my Amazon, Amazon storefront that I still manage, obviously, my two websites. Uh, and I want to create two e-commerce business uh, very soon, which I'm super excited and I'm sure you will love it, but I will let you know more in the coming months. So uh, I just need to slow down a bit. And to do so, I need to pivot to one or two videos. I already said that. Oh my gosh, I can see your messages. All right, all right. Um, okay, I already talked about that. Also, why I've been thinking about quitting YouTube, and I'm going to be super honest, and um, <laughs> I, did, I was hesitating if I'm going to talk to you about it, actually. I've been very angry and very frustrated because I've seen some, some shitty people on YouTube using my name in their videos, in their titles. Some people have been stealing my videos, extracting my videos to use in their own videos without my consent. And also some, um, <laughs> I'm going to say, fucking French expert. She's been stealing my content and my thumbnails for months. And at the beginning, I thought it was a coincidence, and it's not. So um, it really pissed me off, to be honest with you. And sorry for being be rude, but this is this is me, okay? It's only 7 a.m. in Australia. Uh, so YouTube is aware of this issue and taking care of it. And um, and I I do realize as well. I am. Who am I to claim the ownership of my content? Because at the end of the day, it's the internet. And when people start copying you, apparently you're supposed to be flattered. I'm not flattered. I'm pissed off because it took me hours of time and research and creativity to deliver to deliver those videos to you. And when someone just comes in behind and stealing my keywords and everything, uh, uh, anyway, but I need to get over it, like my friend said. So I need to get over it. And to get over it, this is why I decided to do more quality videos, diff a little bit different format. And I think I'm hoping those videos will be a little bit harder to copy. And um, yeah, that's one of the reasons. But um, and also what it pissed me off is because this person who's copying my content so much, so close to my content that some of you have been confused and thinking I'm doing a collab with her. And it's not the case. OK, every time I, I calculate roughly it's three weeks after I post one video, she's posting something similar, even changing few words in the title or the thumbnails. But some thumbnails are so similar to mine. Even YouTube say, OK, there, there is a problem here. So um, thank you for letting me know that you noticed something was a bit off on the, on YouTube right now, but I can't control that. I can't control those shitty people. What I can control is how I'm going to deliver better quality videos for you. I don't know if I just said that and, and how I'm going to film and do more research. And I just want to elevate everything. So the good news at the end of the day, it will be that less video, better quality and i'm hoping i'm going to get more views on each videos because my youtube channel right now is not doing well and i want to reboost everything and to do so i need to pivot and and change and tweak a little bit okay so that said did i cover everything sorry i have to read my notes oh my gosh i can see your messages you're more and more joining me right now um yeah Outside of being frustrated of what people are doing online, may I say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for being part of my community, for supporting me, for your love. Uh, without you guys, I will not keep going, I, I can tell you, but every time I see a kind message or an email, I'm like, oh, 
talk about an email. I need to talk about something because this morning when I was walking Oscar, um, I checked my emails. You know, when you walk with the dog and you don't have your glasses and you're holding your phone like that. But I was in the dark so I could see. And I received a very, very long email. And this email is from a lady called Ellen Henson from Charlotte, from North Carolina. And this is one of the kindest email I received. So thank you, Ellen, if you're watching this video. I'm going to respond to you next time or later on today. And wow, I couldn't believe it. This morning I was reading that. I was, what the best timing. So thank you for that. I want to give as well a personal message to a couple of people, if you don't mind. So um, it's not in this order, but I want to give a special thank you to Natalie. Um, she's been following me on YouTube. We met during an event a couple of weeks ago, and we found out we have a friend in common. And then we went for a back ride a couple of weeks ago. And as a follower, follower she was able to give me some direct feedback. And uh, I couldn't believe it, but she really said that, you're so different from the other YouTubers because you're authentic, you're real, you're like us, you're goofy. You say the worst thing sometimes, but it doesn't matter. And sometimes I just need to hear that, especially when I was down. My other, other big love to uh, the other message I want to say uh, I don't know if she's watching today, but it's uh, my friend. Angelique from Canberra, she's French and we met a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, she's a beautiful lady and she's fighting cancer. Um, and to me, she's a princess warrior. So I want to tell you, Angelique, if you're watching that you are not alone and I love you and you, yeah, so I'm here. Third, thank you, special thank you. And AJ, I hope you're here because I told you to connect to not done the messages. <laughs> this is the work mode, you see. So I want to give a special thank you to AJ. If you don't know, AJ is my social media manager. He's been in my team now for since January, and he's still here, and I'm making work very hard. And um, AJ, really, you helped me a lot with my workload to give me some ideas. He's been amazing on my Instagram channel. So thank you so much, darling. I'm looking forward to work with you in the next six months. Voila, voila, voila. Also, I want to create more videos for you. So I would like you to tell me in the comment section, what are your favorite videos and what would you like to see next? For the ladies who are not in live with me, I know you're going to catch up this video this week. So that's okay. Keep commenting on this video. Give me a big thumbs up. And um, at the end of the week, we're going to gather all your ideas and uh, prepare something magical for you. Okay, just a second. <laughs> I'm reading your message in same time. There's some names I recognize. I just want to say, oh, I have to say a special, I mean, I can't say a special thank you to everybody, so don't hate me, but I've seen a lady, I see a photo all the time, and she's here today. Oh, my gosh, so many messages I have to go through now. Oh, Tammy, you're here. Here we go. Hi, Tammy. Thank you for being here. Oh, gosh, I lost it. All right, here we come back. Uh, okay, so I talk about the bad, the shitty things. Um, what else I want to tell you about? Okay, a lot of you asking me to be on Patreon. If you don't know Patreon, it's an American website when YouTubers can go and via a membership, the members can see more videos. Um, and I mean, very interesting to do that, but I want to know your opinion first before I'm starting filming and getting exhausted again, because I would like to create as well, like a small, more intimate community and making more videos when I am not going to be censured by YouTube, because on YouTube, you have to be very careful if you don't want to be demonetized. And, um, and a lot of you wants to support my work and I really thank you so much for that. 
So I was thinking about maybe doing some videos behind the scene, showing you my office, showing you uh, my filming room, which is totally crazy with equipment right now. I moved to a new place. Yes, I didn't share that on YouTube because I want to keep a few things private. But it's a few things I want to share with you about decorating because that's something I really love outside of filming. So please let me know your thoughts again in the comment section if you're interested or not. If it's something, it's worth it for me to invest my time okay something else very exciting coming this week because you love so much my styling tips and thank you so so much for your comments i can't believe it how much you love it you know but i'm gonna really really improve in that and as you know i'm creating a styling course this is very very popular i highly recommend you to get it but if you're still hesitating I'm creating a free training course. This is what I've been working on last week. And it's called The Seven Styling Mistakes That Nobody Is Telling You. So I will share this video later on this week, probably via my newsletter. If you haven't signed it, it it's on frederickboss.com. And I will share it as well via a small preview that we'll put on YouTube. But this free training won't be on YouTube. You will need to sign up to my newsletter to grab it. And it's a preview to my course. So I think that might be very interesting for the ladies who are still hesitating to get the course and not sure where it's going to be inside. But as well, it's a very condensed when I give a lot of tips, you know, and it's a bit of a long video. It's roughly like a 20 minutes video, but very interesting. And on top of that, in this video, I'm sharing uh, five tips how to be confident. So please don't miss it. Talk about my course. I want to give you a bit of a spoiler alert uh, because the course is doing so well, but I want to add very, very soon a couple of bonuses. And it's something you've been always asking, asking me. It's about, or oh, you don't do videos about lingerie, undergarment, etc. And the reason for it, because I don't want to show my body online, especially on YouTube. But it's something you need to know about lingerie, about what is the perfect undergarment for you. So it will be in my styling course for this, uh, for this, <laughs> for this. And then I need to stay focused because soon my mind is going to go there. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose it. So uh, and as well, I want to create a, another bonus in this course about jeans for body types, but as well, which type of the best jeans for you and maybe doing a bit of a dictionary for jeans. There's something that is being in my mind and I'm cooking this for a long time. So for the ladies already signed to my styling course, you don't have to worry. It will be no extra cost. When it will come up, the bonuses, it will show up so you can watch it. And for the future student, absolutely, it will be in my course. Okay, that's done. How long have been online 15 minutes i want to give you plenty of time to do the q a so please ask me all the questions <laughs> i just saw someone say your microphone come in i know is that a lovely i shouldn't touch it actually <laughs> um so oh yeah before we starting the q a i want to say something oh my gosh the last few weeks has been crazy in my mind i try my best ladies to answer to all of your comments on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, emails. And sometimes some comments are held for review by Instagram and YouTube. I have no control on that. And sometimes I don't see some of the comments a few weeks after. And I'm so sorry about that because answering to three to 500 comments per day, it's a lot of work, but you are important. So even if I don't put a proper answer, if you see my little heart, that means I've been reading and I like it. And, you know, if I don't like it, I will probably say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the point. The point is um, I'm trying my best, okay? And sometimes it sounds like it's not enough because I've been abused by one of the lady lately because, oh, you don't answer to me in the next two minutes. And I'm thinking, fuck off. You know what? I am not a machine. I'm a human being. I get tired. I walk a lot. I love to be here. But please keep in mind, I'm like you. I have good and I have bad days. 
saying that when I wear a top, when I wear a pants, some ladies as well are very frustrated with me because they say, oh, I can't find the link. Well, let me explain first. If it's an item from Zara or um, H&M, you know, it's fast fashion. So that means those links do not exist or stay online for a very long time. Plus, it's not like I'm buying something new in those shops every week. If you've been watching in my videos, you know, I want to be more in a minimalist style. I want to spend less money in fast fashion and better in quality. But as well, I got my Amazon uh, store front. So that's for people as well who want something more similar. Saying that, I signed up with two more companies lately to give as well an option outside of Amazon, it's a bit more upmarket. So next time when I will do those styling videos and I will I don't know, do a look for summertime or something like that. I will mix up between maybe a little bit more on the budget and a little bit more high end. And I'm going to make more efforts about linking everything. But there are sometimes you're asking me, where do I get the dress that I bought four years ago in Zara? And I'm like, uh, 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 what should I say? I'm like, no, you, I, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. But I'm trying my best. Okay. So I'm trying my best. Okay, another thing, and then you're going to think, oh my gosh, she's so negative. I am not, but this is what has been playing on my head for weeks. And sometimes it's just a bit funny. And don't forget, it's one woman show here. I'm alone. I do the filming. I do the editing. I run a business, the emails, the social media. It's all on my own, okay? So it's, it's still a lot of work to do. But please... Please, ladies, please respect my private life. Meaning, I don't even know how you found it, but I'm sure it's not very difficult because I'm everywhere online. Do not call me on my cell phone or like we said in Australia, on my mobile phone. Because it's not for that. You have already far enough option to contact me. And um, lately, I had a call from a lady in I from Ireland, and it was 1 a.m. in Australia. Thank you for the time difference. And asking me if I was doing a one-to-one -one consultation. So for the one-to-one -one consultation, I had as well a few requests. This is not in the program yet. Um, maybe I would change my mind in a few months because it's a lot of time to collect emails and I don't know how much I would charge for it and be sure that you have a camera working and I can see your job and I need to structure it. For the moment, I'm not planning to do it. So I'm not doing one-to-one -one styling consultation as much as I love to help you. This is why I do all those videos. And my styling course is much better than the videos because it's much longer, it's much more in details. Anyway, please do not call me on my cell. I will really appreciate it. Woo, voila, voila. Now, um, I would like as well to thank the new ladies who join us and join me this year because my subscribers being really growing on YouTube, even now it's plateau, but it's going to boost again. He's always doing that. You're doing well, it's, it's crushing. You're doing well, it's crushing. This is YouTube. On Instagram, I hit 100,000 followers like two weeks ago, if I do remember, unbelievable, because I thought it was dead for a long time as well, so thank you. So to all those uh, new subs and new followers, thank you so much for joining in my crazy world. I'm so, so happy and honored that you found me and you're following me and you love my crazy world. Okay, so I think I talk about everything. I try to do very short and condensed because I want to keep the rest of the video for you. So this is the time now. You can jump on your comments and you can ask me any questions. So I'm going to go all at the top of your comments. It's going to be very hard talking to you, looking at the camera, talking to my sweet microphone and looking at your comments at the same time. But let's do it. Okay, so I got a lot of people, even from Canada, UK. Oh, it's not too late, 10. Okay, 10 p.m. Um, okay, lovelies. Well, you all say hi. Thank you so much. Salut de Montréal. I am not quitting. Um, 
Okay, so ladies, do you have any question would you like to ask me? Even personal question, you know. Um, so please go ahead. So okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I should put some some way some music like you listen to the elevator. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Strike, stay strong. Thank you. I am I am strong, girls. Don't worry. I'm a strong, strong cookie, but you know, not every day because human. Yes, it's been two years already. Merci, merci, merci. All right, ladies, any questions? Let me drink some water. I'm not quitting YouTube, girls. I'm not quitting YouTube. It's okay. I'm just going to slow down, but doing better. And I'm sure in one, two months, you're going to say, wow, what a difference. So this is, I want to become a better filmmaker. I want to tell you stories via my videos, more different styling tips that you haven't seen much on YouTube. Because I think like lately, all those ladies, and they're doing well on YouTube, those styling ladies, I think it's getting a bit boring. And I don't want to get boring. I don't want you to think I'm boring because I always wanted to help you to look the best, to feel the best, to feel confident, no matter how simple your look is. Oh, that was a good selling speech. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Yes, I know. I know you know that some people are stealing my content. I know you are aware, but hey, you know what? Uh, anyway, yes, I can tell them to F off, but you know what? It doesn't work like that on the internet. When you put something online, it's like everybody can grab it. Even someone told me lately last week, a guy, imagine a guy who following me, but not really. And he said, you come up on the short stories in the feed and he's seen a young girl, apparently a blonde girl. And he thought it was me, but obviously it wasn't me. And apparently she was doing videos exactly, exactly like I was doing. And he told, he called me and he said, I don't remember her name, but this girl was exactly, exactly like you. And I'm like, yeah, this is the game, you know? So it's the jungle over there. All right. Can you plaster your name across your vid? Oh, no, I can't do that for the watermark. I know what you mean, but it doesn't work like that on YouTube. But the thing I can do is creating another small community somewhere else and do more private videos, which I would love to do. But don't worry about that. Uh, I can't tell you the name of this uh, shitty um, French expert. By the way, so pretentious to call yourself a French expert. I'm not a French expert. I'm just French helping women. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> right here. Okay. Right. Do you have any question you would like to ask me? Because I see your comments. Um Thank you, girls. Thank you. Oh, oh, my gosh. This is why I'm so sorry for not do, making a live video much earlier, but I got a bit lazy, I guess. And because of the time difference in Australia, by, by the way, I'm awake since 4 a.m. It's 5.25 now. And I was a bit nervous. I got a big cuddle with Oscar and... And I had a shower, even washed my hair, 5 a.m., you know. I thought, oh, no, I'm going to do that for the girls. I was supposed to go out last night, but I knew I would be hangover or tired this morning. So I can sell just to be fresh with you because you deserve you deserve the best version of myself. And in the morning, I'm full of energy, as you can tell. All right. So what would you like to see in the next... Um, because you need to help me out as well a little bit. Because as much as I want to deliver better quality videos, I would like to do more like a, a document or stories, still about styling, still about grooming, still about self-care, still about um, elevating and feeling confident. I'm all about empowering women, like really big time. <coughs> Excuse me. And I thought, <clears throat> what else, you know, what else I haven't talked yet in my videos and you will love to do so sometimes you share you, you send me some really great video ideas and don't think you're just sending and i'm forgetting and to proving to you um i have my notes here and i got one video id so someone give me an idea about um 
uh, styling black jeans, which I like. Uh, how to choose the right blazer. I'm like, oh, okay, that can be good. And how to transform amazing outfit into fashionable. That's something I'm going to have so much fun. So you see, I'm running down some notes sometimes when I see your comments, because sometimes I don't have time to copy past. So I'm running down. I'm like, some I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I've already done that. But some I'm thinking, mm, that's really good. So please keep sharing because I'm here for you at the end. Ah, uh, okay. They can steal your class. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely. Yes. Now my personality. Yes, it's real. It's real. And you know what? It was great when I met those ladies two weeks ago during this event. And I wanted to share the video with you. I filmed it, but the sound is absolutely crap. So I decided not to do it. But um, one lady approached me and said, this is amazing. I follow you for a long time on YouTube. It's the first time I meet you. And actually, you're exactly the same. And I'm like, of course I am. But I found out as well that some YouTubers are not where they pretend to be in front of a camera, or even via an email. I contacted another YouTuber. Oh, my gosh. You know, this uh, how to be an elegant lady and be a, be a, how do you call that, a gold digger. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And we had a bit of a things, and I sent her an email. She answered me back four days after, and she was so rude. And I'm thinking, what the F those people are coming from? I am not going to change, by the way. It's no way I'm going to change. I'm 49 years old. It's, I'm not going to change. I'm just going to improve like a good wine. <laughs> Okay, shoe loader women wear makeup. Okay. Oh, I need to talk about something. Yes, talk, wearing makeup to me, it's important, but I don't wear a lot of makeup. So even if I have a no makeup day, I'm still going to wear uh, a little bit of mascara because I still got deliveries. I still meet people when I work my door. It makes me feel good by myself. If you're not a makeup person, then don't wear makeup. But to me, it just makes me feel, I don't do that for the others. I do that for myself just to be sure I'm presentable because some days I have big, dark circles. I look puffy eyes. My skin is not good. And I'm like, Ugh. and a bit of makeup, it will just give me a bit of pick me up. It's not magical. So yes, I got another question. I've seen that yesterday in the comments. I don't remember where somewhere someone was asking me, is it okay for a lady of a certain age? I don't like that. We call that wiser women to let them your uh, gray hair grow. And I got so many questions about it. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm the best person to answer because I do dye my hair. I do my roots. It's actually, I can tell already because I'm a brunette. It's like shiny silver fox here. Can you tell? So to me, I prefer keeping my hair natural and keeping as brunette for the moment. But again, I'm only 49. Maybe in 10 years' time, I will change my hair and it will be all gray. But I do believe some women, it's not an age thing, actually, will have the natural gray hair look absolutely fantastic, especially the women who have thick hair and volume and got some highlights. And I thought, wow, I will love that, but I'm not ready yet. So again, I think it's like makeup. If it makes you feel about yourself and getting back to your gray hair and you don't want to dye your hair anymore and get, get, go back to your natural you, go for it. Um, but I think this is very personal. For me, it's a, it's a no for the moment. But who knows? Who knows how much? No, not for the moment. I tell you, it's not who knows. I'm not going to change it. <laughs> but some girls, I mean, some women, I, I follow one online on Instagram. I don't know, remember her name. She looks amazing. She's got like very fresh, beautiful face, probably early 50s, gorgeous, and a gray hair. And I'm like, wow, she looks amazing. So I have no idea how I look like with gray hair. We'll see one day. We'll see. Okay, so what there? So you're writing me. I'm not going gray in a hurry. Yeah. Oh, Sabrina Ferguson. <laughs> I see. I recognize you. You see? Um Okay, you look with the big glasses. Yes, I changed my glasses. I got my eye tested as well. They're not doing well, my eyes. So I got these new glasses. Sorry for the light is reflecting, but at least you see something a little bit better. Um, okay. 
I mean, my feet is, I look like a kid. That's why I like your ideas. I apply advice. Okay, thank you. Um, makeup change from winter to summer. Okay. Okay. So, again, another question about makeup. I don't, I never do a makeup, winter makeup and summer makeup. But again, I live in Australia, especially in Queensland. It's a state when it's more sunny so we don't have a proper winter i mean that's winter right now you see so i'm i'm not sure i'm more into more about having a good skin to me having a better skin is more important than covering bit of a foundation bit of concealer bit of bronzer and that's what i have on my face right now so um maybe i will do it but i like some the only thing i like is sometimes just turning like a normal makeup look into a bit more glamorous when you're going out uh, I've seen a question that was interesting to, hang on, I need to go up. So, okay, a lot of questions about my eyebrows. Oh, they look amazing. So, first of all, I'm cheating. Second of all, I'm a hairy beast. Okay. <coughs> Meaning, I got hair on my face. And as much as I don't have much hair on the top of my head, I have a lot of hair everywhere. I'm shaving everywhere. The hair, hair is like ugh, everywhere. So I'm lucky to have hairy eyebrows, first of all. And also because I did a lot of sport and a lot of stupid things in my young years, I had few accidents and I had a few scars. So it's only two years now I got my eyebrows microblading. It was mainly actually to get a better shape and get like this symmetric, which we're not perfectly symmetric. I'm not symmetric. And as well, as well to cover the um, the scars because I had like some gap. It's a mix of microblading and tattooing. It's not for everyone. Uh, I haven't done mine since December. And I only one person has the right to touch my eyebrows and she's in Sydney. And next time I will go to Sydney, I'm going to do it again. But I think the eyebrows are very important. But do you need to microblading or tattooing? Absolutely not. What you need is to redesign that properly uh, in proportion with your face. I think it's cohesive. And as well, you can just do it with a crayon. But again, that's a choice. Oh, yes, and I forgot to tell you as well, when I do maybe once every three weeks, I dye my eyebrows and my eyelashes because I found out lately I have one, two hair, the gray. And it freaked me out and I pluck it and I'm thinking, don't pluck you the, the, because in 10 years, I'm pretty sure it will be no air here. I'm going to lose everything. So don't pluck your hair, just dye it. And yeah, so yeah, <laughs> just okay. Let's talk about the next thing now. My favorite lipstick. Oh my gosh, I've done a full video about it. I have no lipstick now, it's just a lip balm. So um oh my gosh you asked me so many questions right now should we go to the dermatologist yes i do believe every woman no matter how old you are you should go to see a skin specialist a dermatologist first of all to check your skin for skin cancer especially in australia uh, also to know better about your skincare, they really um, adapted to uh, what you, you need. You know, some people like me have saggy skin, no skin, no skin scare are going to fix that. But, you know, can have some bit of a rosacea, dark circles, pimples, blackheads, wrinkles. <laughs> Do I keep going? Oh, open pores, of course. I forgot about this one. Some acne scars, you know. So some treatment can help you to get a better skin, um, but to do so, um, you definitely go to see a dermatologist. They're the best. That's what they do for a living. And yes, I always recommend it. It's a bit pricey, but it's a really good investment. And sometimes you will be surprised. They're just going to recommend you to get three products for your skincare. So at the end of the day, budget-wise, it's going to worth it. But yes, go to see a dermatologist, ladies. Absolutely. All right. Oh, my gosh. So many messages. I don't know which one to read. So it's 7.36. I'm going to stop in 10 minutes each because I don't want to make this video too long or too boring. I'm hoping it's not boring. Um, so 
What do you know, you MBTI type? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm bad with abbreviation. And don't forget, English is my second language. So I have no idea. Thank you, Molly Pitcher. Hello from Cancun. Oh, my gosh. I lived in Cancun for a few weeks when I used to teach scuba diving. You look thinner. What are you doing? Um, not much right now. Actually, I'm not thinner because it's winter, so I'm eating a little bit more and I'm getting a bit lazy. But um, I want to go back to do Pilates. I used to do Pilates, but my friend used to laugh at me with my accent. So Pilates, soon it's going to get warmer and go back swimming. And on a regular basis, I ride my bike because I love it. I love fresh air. I love the outdoors. And every day I walk Oscar, which is very slow because, as you know, he turned 14 last week. So, um, but I'm going to get much fitter in summertime. I can't wait. So this is what I do. I hate to go to the gym doing things like that. But when I love it, it's getting active with something I love, like fresh air, go to see people, walking, running. No, I don't run. I run the bike. Anyway. Ah, okay. MBTI is a 16 personality test. I have to Google it, girls, and I have to come back to you. Can you don't a video on styling tall women? Okay, some women ask me sometimes to make a video about curvy or overweight women or tall. So I did once a video about curvy women, and um, I got really, really abused by some comments because I'm not curvy and um, and I think some some youtubers who have more like a plump body do better job than me because I do not know your issues but the only thing I can do is based on your body type give you the best advice how to style and which type of clothes we look better Same for tall lady. If you're really tall, oh my gosh, lucky you. But it's very hard for me to give you a specific tip, tip if you are tall because I'm not tall. So I'm, I have no experience to be a tall woman. I would love to, you know. So that's a little. But the best I want to say, it's my videos. I'm trying to be as generic as much as I can in terms of styling tips and hopefully they can suit a lot of women and then at the end of the day you take a little bit of here a little bit of that you're mixing it and you look fantastic no i'm not quitting youtube girls i'm just gonna slow down because i my channel is not doing well right now so feel free to give a thumbs up to each video share the videos it needs to pick up again to give me as well a bit of motivation because you know it's It's really, really hard to be a YouTuber. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I'm not quitting, girls. Can you do film a daily vlog? Okay. Um, I'm very, very uncomfortable with the vlogging style because I tried when I was in Sydney and I was holding my camera, walking in the street. People look at you weird. I tried here once when I was going to a Zara shop. I was filming outside of the Zara shop and I felt so stupid. I stopped and I'm thinking, no. The advantage for me to film in my filming room is because I get the best lighting. The sound is good um, because the sound is 50% of your video. And I got access to my wardrobe. I get access to my notes. I got my, where is it, my iPad for the structure of the video. So to me, it's my world. And I'm more productive and effective when I do this, like some, something like that. What I'm filming outside is a little bit different. But if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, so it's MS Frederic, Frederic. I do more stories, so sometimes I'm sharing if I go for a back ride, if I celebrate my dog's birthday, things like that. So that will be something I will share more on Instagram. But to be honest, right now, my life is not exciting enough to take the camera and say, well, hi, I'm going to ride my bicycle today. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> really, I would rather making videos that you're going to learn something from. But I might be wrong. I might change my mind. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for subscribing. Nothing is boring. Thank you. Okay. Someone said I will appreciate more skincare videos. Okay. I, I know that. 
Um, I'm trying actually new products right now, but at the end of the day, I'm sticking always to the same product because you know when you find something good for you. And I'm quite simple in my skincare routine because um, my skin is super dry. Menopause is not far. She's not here yet, but she's coming, I can tell. So yes, I, I can do more skincare uh, products, so that's no problem. Yes, I'm going to do more styling videos about colors that I'm passionate about that. Body type, because that goes together, but colors. Again, do not miss this free training styling calls that I'm going to post at the end of the week uh, because I talk much more about color, more in my course, but colors are so important. But I want to do as well a couple of videos about it because I want to do more research, but doing more, almost like... Uh, uh, a super research Netflix document. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just can't do that on my own. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do cooking or food preparation. I've done a few because I was testing at the time YouTube which type of format videos I was uh, comfortable with. And girls, I need to tell you something. I am not a good cook. I'm almost eating the same food every day. It's super boring. And uh, that's something you don't want to learn uh, about me. And the only thing I can tell you, I'm vegetarian. I, I was vegan for years. I'm back to a bit of fish now because it's better for my health. But really, I'm, I'm really don't like doing this as much as very visual showing the food. But no, I'm so sorry. I'd rather to do something more about your style and your signature and your confidence. That is something I really love to do. Yes, I'm going to do more as well about cleaning a capsule wardrobe, especially now, because, you know, unfortunately, this is a very tough year, very, after two years of COVID, nice inflation, everything is more expensive. And I want to do more videos about how to look your best on a budget or how to pick few clothes in your wardrobe and creating amazing uh, outfit. That's something I'm, I'm really, really passionate about it because um, I've been broke for years, but it never reflects in my outfit, even if I didn't have the money to buy the clothes, but I, I just knew. So that I learned and I, I learned so much about that. And that's something I really want to share with you. Yes, I'm going to do more about capsule wardrobe. You got my word about that. Why did you move again? Uh, oh, okay, I wanted to stop the video, but okay. Um, as you know, so I lived in Sydney for 19 years and I moved to the Gold Coast in March last year, in 2021. And I was renting this uh, small tan house. It's like a small house on the Gold Coast. And um, after a year, they said that they want me to. So you have here, he works in Australia with one year lease. And then after you extend it, or you can do month by month. But when you do month by month, especially with what's going on here in Australia in real estate, I had the feeling my uh, landlord wanted to sell and I wanted to anticipate because the rental market is really hard here to find the right place. It's totally saturated because, again, interest rates are increasing. People having more and more difficulties to pay their mortgages, and therefore the rents are increasing because there's more demand. I mean, you know, the economic reason. So I anticipated a bit. I got, I, I've been a bit lucky, but I found this house in the same area, lucky me. So Oscar doesn't miss his routine about the smell and the area and myself as well. So I moved end of February. I didn't say anything about it because it was crazy about walking, moving on my own and everything. But I love this new house. I got much more space. Uh, it's more quiet and it's still close to the beach and close to the water. And yeah, so I'm happy. And yeah, so this is why I moved. Okay, ladies, has a YouTube on 10 favorite lipstick. Oh my gosh, you're really, really obsessed with the lipstick. I've done videos about lipstick. No one is watching this video. So please, for oh yes, I need to show you something. I mean, I can't show you now on the screen, but I know all my videos are not showing on my YouTube homepage. And sometimes you send me so many. 
a text message or a comment on Instagram and on YouTube and say, oh, what's your, what's your color of your lipstick? What the top you're wearing in a video I think like a year ago? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have no idea which video you're talking about. The only way to find it, it's sometimes just to go to my YouTube homepage. It's better on a desktop. I don't think it's working on a mobile. And you have the search, but not the search on YouTube, the search on my channel. And then you can type lipstick and then you will see the video that I made about lipstick. That's the better way that I can help you with. Do you still have your web design? Yes, I do. I still got my small pool of clients that I do hosting, safety, maintenance, a bit of coding. So I don't want to let them down. Um, yes, yeah, so I still got my clients as well. So yes, I'm busy, girl. I'm very busy. We are obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you <laughs> as well. <laughs> House decorating. Oh, yes, that's something I love watching on over YouTubers. I love decorating. I love because I changed my mind on my office. I changed in at least five times already the position of my desk. I, lo I love these things because I do believe in Feng Shui or Feng Shui. I do believe in, in vibes. I'm not too much a crystal girl, but I do believe in energy. And um, yes, yeah, so um, I love that. I love moving. And you know what I love more? I love redecorating with things you already have in your house without buying something extra. So sometimes, yeah, anyway, just a lot of things. Oh, Aja from Maroc. Oh, I love Maroc. Oh my gosh, I haven't been there for so long. Oh, and a little, little spoiler alert. This is, I'm going a little bit to her head on my world. Um, this year, I don't think I might planning a trip overseas, but it might not be too far. Uh, maybe at the end of the year, because I'm saving money for a couple of procedures that I will share later on with you. But definitely next year in my books, I would like to go for a big trip to the States, maybe Canada, maybe the UK. And I would like to meet with you. So it's just a project. I don't know when. I cannot leave my house right now because Oscar is here. But I'm conscious that Oscar, unfortunately, is not going to live forever. He's 14 years old. So when he won't be there anymore, uh, I think I'm going to take a two, three months break. And then I'm going to travel. And then I'm going to tell you where I will be. And you can meet with me. And then probably I will do a lot of vlogging. But it's just a project. I want to share that with you. I want to share that with the universe. that's going to put things together. But for the moment, I'm so happy my dog is alive, of course, my baby. So for the moment, I'm staying here looking after him. And because he, he needs a lot of attention. All right, my lovelies. Um, I would love to come to Ireland. I've been to Ireland many times, actually, but uh, to France in January. Oh, no, the only thing I'm not going to do is going to Europe in winter. I don't like winter. Uh, even if London looks fantastic at Christmas time and Paris as well. But no, I'm not a cold person, girl. This cold is not for me. But there's a lot of places in the state I have never been to. I really want to go. So you will know. And I think Montreal will be on the list. Toronto, I've never been to Toronto. I want to go to Vancouver. Where's the place you can see the whales? This is what I want to see because I'm, don't forget, I'm a, I'm a water person. So anyway, oh, cuddles for Oscar. Ladies, I hope you really had fun. Thank you so, so much for being with me. Um, I don't know why I'm not doing that more often. I'm, I'm completely pumped up after that. I'm going to the bathroom because I can't wait. I drank a tea and I'm like, oh, I need a pee. I'm going to have a hot tea and I'm going to thank you and I'm going to reread your messages. So the next video will be posted on um, maybe Saturday or Sunday. And then starting from next week, it's going to get like a more stable uh, rhythm. I am so sorry if I didn't post regularly in the, in the last two, three weeks. Now you know why. But I need to get over it and get stronger. But um, don't worry. I'm here to stay, girls. Okay. I love you so, so much. Thank you. I don't want to leave you, but I have to. How long have we been? Oh, 55. No, 
even with <laughs> the number is big like that even with my glasses i can't read it this is sad 54 minutes so it's almost an hour i can't believe it. it's still 627 of you but i know this video a lot of people are going to catch up and watch it later on this week so thank you so much uh oh this is the lady i wanted to thank mary the lamer Thank you, because I've seen you commenting on all of my videos, and I know you joined my uh, channel uh, recently, and I saw all your comments, so thank you, Sabrina. I can see so many ladies. Thank you so, so much. Um, well, it's not the weekend anymore. Thank you for wishing me a good weekend. I wish you a good weekend. For me, we start the week. It's Monday morning. Which day are we today? 27 of June, and it's almost 8 a.m., cup of tea, and then I'm going to sit down behind my desk and walk. Walk, 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 girl. Walk, walk, walk. All right. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm going to click on end of stream, so don't hate me. Thank you so, so much. Hi from Montréal. Merci. You have, you have a lovely weekend, and I wish you a great week as well. And um, I know I said that again, but my gosh, I love you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Bye. You take care. See you to the next video. <laughs>